Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kodrowski and this organic chemistry video covers a preview of alcohol and epoxide reactions. First we'll preview alcohol reactions. Alcohols are a diverse functional group that undergo many types of reactions. They have a very rich chemistry. We'll just focus on two reaction classes that involve SN1, SN2, E1, and E2 mechanisms that we learned in previous chapters. All of these reactions require that the OH group be made into a better leaving group. The big problem with OH containing molecules and substitution and elimination reactions is that OH- is a poor leaving group, and all of the reactions that we'll look at in the later part of chapter 9 focus on making that OH group into a better leaving group, and then substitution and elimination reactions are possible. The first class of reactions we'll look at are dehydration of alcohols to form alkenes. The reaction can be summarized like this. There's an alcohol with a beta proton attached, and the dehydration mechanism can go via E1 or E2 to form a double bond between two carbons with the loss of water. Here, the water atoms come from the OH and the adjacent beta proton. We'll cover dehydration reactions extensively in subsequent videos. The next class of reactions we'll look at are conversion of alcohols to alkyl halides using either SN1 or SN2 reactions. Here's a summary of a generic reaction type like that. An alcohol with an OH group reacts with some sort of HX compound where X is chlorine or bromine, and substitution reactions can happen to create an alkyl halide where the X group has taken the place of the OH and water is produced as a coproduct. Finally, we'll take a look at epoxide reactions. These are reactions involving the three-membered epoxide ring. Epoxides undergo ring opening reactions to relieve ring strain. They have distorted bond angles from the ideal for an sp3 hybridized atom and that makes them very reactive and prone to opening. There are two reaction classes that we'll look at with epoxides. Ring openings with strong nucleophiles. A general example is shown here with an epoxide in the reactants reacting with a strong nucleophile to give a ring opened species. Notice here that the nucleophile becomes attached to the epoxide carbon at the less substituted of the two carbons. That's one of the characteristics we'll look at when we study epoxide reactions. The strong nucleophiles attack the less substituted carbon. The other class are ring openings with weak nucleophiles under acidic conditions. Here's an example of that same epoxide but reacting with a weak nucleophile. The weak nucleophile is shown here with a lone pair but no negative charge and carrying a hydrogen. You could think of this as analogous to an alcohol. These types of reactions under acid catalyzed conditions will proceed with the nucleophile attacking the more substituted of the two carbons of the epoxide, the ring opening this way. The mechanisms for these reactions will be discussed in detail in subsequent videos. If you found this video useful, check out the next one in the series or watch the prior video and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. My name is Brant Kodrowski. Thanks for watching.